There are wrinkles in the very fabric of the universe. So what can you talk to us about? What can you explain to us about that? <laughs> so picture this, about 900 million years ago, there was in a galaxy far, far away, there's this giant black hole that just basically gobbled up a massive dead star. And that would created such an explosion that it actually created wrinkles in the fabric of space time. And those ripples have, uh, they're basically ripples that are basically expanding out into the universe. And after 900 million years of journey, it finally arrived here. And we detected it with our uh, with, with our telescope, with our gravity wave uh, mm -hmm. telescope. And we this is the first time ever that we've seen a collision between a black hole and a neutron side. It's been theoretically proposed, but we never actually saw it. And the first gravitational wave we actually detected was only four years ago. And so we're, this is really an infant science, something that we're just learning about. These are the most massive explosions in the universe. Now we detected the gravity wave just a few weeks ago, and now astronomers are looking in that part of the sky where this came from for an actual visible glow, an actual a visible explosion that would confirm this, this result. So stay tuned yeah. in the next few weeks. We might actually get a follow-up observation from this. Okay, we'll do that. Okay, lastly, I want to take a look at these photos of the far side of the moon. Now, China's Chang'e 4 mission is up there in the dark cold. What is it doing? We only have a few seconds here, but can you quickly explain? Quickly, beautiful photographs of the far side of the moon. So this is the part of the moon that we can never see from our vantage point in here, from, from Earth. It's always pointed away from us. And this is a very unexplored region of, of, of the moon. And there's a, a rover and a lander sent there from China from in, in January. And it's still, they're both functioning. Uh, surprisingly, it's unexpected. They're still working great. And they're sending us science about what the moon is about and perhaps maybe how much water reservoirs there may be for future human missions that they could use. Okay, we'll have to leave it there. Andrew Fizekis, thank you as always.